Bow, bow, bow. Oh, 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 okay. Let me hurry up because the sun's going down. Hi guys, it's Kiki Love and Kiki Loves you. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, in the last video, I told you all how to get a following. Now, I hesitated against doing this initially because I was like, girl, you gotta take your own advice. You you ain't even doing the things that you saying, okay, okay. But then I thought about it, I was like, I actually don't want to build a grandiose following here on YouTube. What I want to do is create a community. And a community and a following is two different things. There are people that follow Jesus, but there were also people who were a part of his community. And that would be known as the 12. Um, you know, you know, 12, you know, gang, 12 sides, you know, gang, gang, gang. But there were also like a few others or whatever, but it was more so of a tight knit situation. Now that you know there, I'm, 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 I'm rambling, I'm rambling. Let's get back to the point. So I want to tell you all how to build a community of people here on YouTube. I can tell you how to do this because I've seen it done time and time again here on YouTube and I'm even a part of some people's community. Like I love them. I love what they do, the content they produce the effort in which they do it. So I'm gonna tell you how to do those things, how I've seen it done multiple times and how I am now trying to replicate it. Okay, cool, so let's get into it. So the first thing is to be you. It is very, very, very important to be who you are. Now in the previous video I said be funny, but if you're not funny, then don't be funny. Like you don't have to act goofy and whatnot in order to keep people around you or to show people who you truly are. If you show who you are and that's quiet then that's fine you can be quiet and maybe you aren't as loud and as giddy on camera and stuff like that because neither is mkbhd but he has a grand a, 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 what a community like he has a lot of people that watch his videos and stuff like that and have consistently been watching his videos he's been making videos for a long time for a really long time and he's more into tech and stuff like that. And that's true to who he is. He's not trying to follow the trends like I mentioned in the previous video. He's not following trends and stuff like that. He is doing what he does and he is doing a tremendous job at it. So make sure it's true to who you are. That would be a person I would say. So I would say if you're quiet and you're like, man, how is this possible? Look at MKBHD. The next thing is be authentic and real. Now I know this, you're probably like, ah, what? Like how is authentic and real not the same as being you? Now being real, being authentic, being true is like what they can expect from you. Don't try and do stuff you know you can't do. Do what you really can't do. When I say be you, I was talking more so about like your personality and things like that. When I say be authentic and be real, be real about what you can do and real about what you actually like. Like if you like tech stuff, then do like MKBHD does and talk about tech stuff. If you're a gamer, then do gamer stuff. If you like makeup, then talk about makeup. If you're just like vlogging and stuff, then just vlog. Don't try and do everything that everybody else is doing. Do what's real to you and what you feel comfortable doing. Don't allow people that watch your videos to determine what content you put out because in the long run you're not going to be satisfied with what you're doing yeah you got people watching you but you're gonna get burned out and i've seen it happen so many times because of watching youtube forever y'all trust me i have i just recently decided to start making videos but you're gonna get burned out because you're like man i'm making content i don't really love it i've seen it happen with people before nicole will like she went for a period where she stopped making makeup videos and she just did vlogs and stuff and i was a part of her was a part i'm a part of her community so i still continue to watch because i like i like watching her like i like watching her do makeup and stuff but i also like watching her like do iced coffee and then like have her cats and just different events she does throughout the day and i like cleaning stuff. I'm, i like all kinds of things i'm not limited to one thing if you guys knew how much i was subscribed to and all the different types of things you'd be like girl what is what is going on with you but like it's real to who she was and it's true to like her and everything and she got burned out and she was like hey guys so i'm gonna take a break from doing makeup i'm gonna do some different type of videos i'll still give you content but it's gonna be real to where i am right now and a lot of people are will put on this facade of who they are and what they can do if you can't give high energy in every video then you shouldn't be trying to give high energy in every video give it a hundred percent but if you're a hundred percent doesn't look like somebody else's that's completely okay be authentic now if i was going to give people for you to think about when it came to being authentic and real i would say think of jackie Ina. she's real she's really true to who she is like she has always been that way the goofball that she is that's true to etsy jackie and i would say lovely t lovely t's been doing 
YouTube forever. It's more of like a gossip channel or whatever, but it's like information and everything. Like, I feel like there are a lot of gossip channels, but I feel like she legit be doing some research on some of the stuff that she be talking about. Like, sis be knowing what she be talking about. The next thing is gonna be consistency. <laughs> Friendly far! I feel triggered. I feel like they're shooting and I'm shooting at myself. I... When it comes to being consistent, you would like to give something for your audience to know to look for. Maybe you post videos twice a week and you do it on like Mondays and Thursdays. I don't know how you run and stuff. I don't know. Don't ask me why I pick those days. But make sure you consistently post that and you let people know, hey, you can find videos here every Monday and Thursday. I put out new content or some people say once a week and they're like, hey, do videos every Sunday and that's what they do. And then some people's like, hey, I post videos every day of the week. And I'm like, Jesus! Even for me, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Consistency is hard, especially when you're like going through tough seasons and stuff like that. And you're trying to figure things out. You're trying to make sure you can still walk, sis. But it's very important to have some type of consistency to so that your community knows when to find you. Now, this is where I'd say the bell will come in handy. Like, if you follow somebody who doesn't post stuff that often, might want to go on ahead and put on the belt if you really want to see their stuff. And if you follow somebody that's more consistent, then maybe you don't necessarily have to put her on the belt. You just know, hey, it's Monday. She probably got something up. Whatever the case would be. Or maybe leave the bell on. It's whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the thing. You want to make sure you're consistent so people know when to find and where to find the stuff. The last one is quality over quantity. Now, in the previous video, I told you you want to be a freaking factory, okay? You want to constantly produce content. However, this one is more of a quality thing, more of a quality like shot. If you look at the only person I've seen actually be able to do quality and quantity is Casey Neistat and everybody ain't that, okay? Like, woo. If you have to pick one in this department to create a community, you would want more of a like more of a quality content going to people because it means it, it's taking you longer on the front end to do this stuff, but man, is it an amazing content when you get it. And people appreciate that work. And honestly, if I was to go back to everybody I've named, everybody that I've already named fall in that category. Like Jackie's, um, Jackie Ina and all of her edits look good. Lovely T, hers look good. And there are plenty of people here on YouTube that do that. If I was to say somebody that rarely posts that creates great content, I would say for y'all entertainment. If y'all don't know who that is, um, I will also link them in the description box below, but they have great content and I love it. They are the types where I will definitely make sure I have on my notifications because you never know when they're going to post something like a vlog or something like that, but the content of it is always going to be great. Like Jay is great with the edits and all those things. So in you build a community, you want to build more of a quality thing, especially if you can't give them the quantity, like a, a everyday type of thing. But they're like, hey, it's not going to be as current as somebody else's, but this is going to be good quality content. So that's more so what I'm trying to build in this situation. I don't necessarily care to have a large following of people. I want to have more of a community type of situation, more of, you know, more like that. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, so that's going to be it for this video. And in the next video, which will be released tomorrow, I know, I know, I know, your girl's making promises. <laughs> what about cash these checks? I hope I can cash these checks. So I will see you guys in the video tomorrow. And I will tell you why I want to do more of a, um, build more of a community. And like, well, like a little more information and more of a grasp of, um, why I fit in there. Okay. Alright guys, until next time, another Kiki loves you and I'll see y'all. I'm out. So I thought so I thought so I thought I needed